Aloha everybody, thank you so much for watching, I'm Laura Miller, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the notification bell. So today is going to be a Hawaiian vlog video, we just came back from Maui, hence the flower and this beautiful coconut cup. It was an amazing, amazing, very much needed trip. I am so happy we did it. Like I said, we went to Maui, we stayed in Lahaina town. Great, amazing, beautiful place. Hawaii is so beautiful, I think Avatar was filmed there. So of course I filmed a little just to show you guys the highlights of our trip. I put some clips together and I'm gonna show it to you. But before I do so, I'd like to say something. So, um... We've never been to Hawaii. That was the first time for the whole family. Um, and it happened on a whim. Like, we did not plan it like other people do for a couple of months. It, it just, we decided to go. Like, okay, let's go to Hawaii. We've never been there. I think it's the right time. And it all aligned so perfectly. And we just did it. It was great. It was meant to be for sure. Now, I know a lot of you guys been there before, uh, a lot of you been there several times, but for some of you who have never been, I'd like to share my experience, my thoughts, you know, maybe give you advice. So, okay, number one, like I said, we stayed in Lahaina, I strongly recommend this place, great. We stayed in a private villa, and the reason we, did, uh, we didn't book any hotel or any resort is because, you know, when you go to Hawaii, my main reason was I literally just wanted to absorb the culture, I wanted to see the nature, I wanted to try food, I wanted to be surrounded by real Hawaii, real Maui, not just the resort Maui, you know what I'm saying? And so, I am so happy, we stayed in Kapalua Golf Villas, uh, my husband is a golfer, every time we go somewhere, golf supposed to be included, so, but I am so happy we did it because uh, it's a private place, it's very nice, very quiet, because when you go and stay in these hotels, there are a bunch of people, a bunch of kids, all these noises around, that is, they're distracting you from actually experiencing uh, the whole ambience, you know. And um, so I am so happy we stayed in a private villa. It was so quiet, you go, you sit in a balcony with your coffee in the morning, it's quiet. No kids running around, nothing like that. It's absolutely beautiful. So I strongly recommend having some place quiet, you know, just so nothing distracting you. Another very important thing to mention is don't bring your pet there, okay? Because they're gonna quarantine your pet for a couple of weeks. This is the law. And I did not know that and I almost booked a flight with my dog included. But then um, a friend of ours said, oh, no, 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 don't bring your dog. You better pay for the, like, doggy seater and um, just go and enjoy it. That was the best advice ever. I, ca I do not know what I would do if I go there and all of a sudden they tell me, okay, you have to quarantine your dog for a couple of weeks. Like, I wouldn't be able to relax. The whole trip would be ruined. So I am so happy a friend of ours mentioned that. And I strong... I, I, Trust me, just don't bring your pets there. Another very important thing is do not overpack, okay? I ended up just with my carry-on. I did my research. I did extremely well with packing. So I brought things that I actually wore. The only one thing that I didn't wear was my jeans. I brought jeans just in case, um, but I did not need them. It is extremely hot and humid there. We went there in the beginning of August, so... I'm not sure about other seasons, but summer is hot, okay? You do not need anything else. If you have a swimsuit, flip-flops, and some sarong or, like, summer dress, you fine, okay? Don't overpack. My daughter, I did not have to... I actually brought my only, um, my new Gucci carry-on bag that I actually have a full video about. I did a review. If you haven't seen it yet, please watch it. Um, but it was enough. I packed, I did absolutely great, I did amazing. But my daughter, um, she had a suitcase to check in, she packed a lot. And when I told her, hey, you don't need that much, it's hot, she's like, no, I do. And so obviously she ended up wearing just 30% of whatever she packed, um, so, you know, teenage girls. So yeah, life in Hawaii is very simple, nobody's uh, dressed up, you know, 
I don't think I have to mention don't bring your high heels you're not gonna wear it there it's it's gonna look ridiculous so shoes wise flip-flops uh, some flats you know or you can um, you're gonna have some dinners probably there if you want to look fancy more or less uh, you can bring your wedgie sandals that's gonna that's gonna be fine but other than that it's very simple life in Hawaii so which I love another important thing is rental car all right when we went there i had this delusional idea now i understand how crazy it was but i thought it's gonna be so much easier just to take uber because okay we scheduled a um, couple of activities there just to explore the island and boy what was i thinking um okay you need a car you need to rent the car it's uh, right by the airport they have a huge garage with different rental places car rental places and it's no big deal but it's going to be a big deal if you do not rent a car unless you're planning on staying inside of a hotel or resort area and you you're not gonna go anywhere which is kind of like it's, it's gonna be very stupid to do it you have to see it it's gorgeous and um, so yeah rent the car so for 10 days that we've been there um, we rented the car thank god my husband had some you know sanity and he says when we checked how much uber is gonna be from the airport to our villa it was hundred dollars and he's like okay so we're gonna pay that much every day we have to go places like grocery shopping or dinners or activities that we schedule so it's gonna be much more expensive and so inconvenient and thank god my husband it was a great idea so we rented the car it was um we rented a luxury car um, and it was $800 for 10 days. Not bad at all. It was great actually and I'm so happy we did. Now, I want to mention that grocery shopping, if you're planning, if you're staying in a hotel, I don't know if you're going to cook or what, but we needed to do grocery shopping because it was a private villa and I was planning to, you, you want some snacks or some stuff to make breakfast with unless you're planning on going and eating uh, out every time but we wanted we didn't not, we wanted to have something in at home just to you know cook if we have to or snacks or sweets something you know and so we did grocery shopping i must admit it's expensive i mean i live in los angeles and we all know life is, prices are ridiculous here everybody knows that they're not the lowest prices in the world let's just admit that but in Hawaii, it's going to be uh, twice as expensive. So it's funny, when we came back, actually, my husband went to the store, went to do grocery shopping. And he's like, oh my God, I never knew that I was going to be so happy to see LA prices. Because, yes, grocery shopping or whatever, it's, it, it's expensive. If you go to have dinner, like we ate, like what, cheeseburgers and all that, it's $180. It's, it's, it, it, food is expensive there. But when it comes to clothing and stuff like that first of all it's so the whole island is rich with colors with culture food taste like it's amazing and uh, you you're gonna want to buy something there so it's going back to this overpacking situation make sure you have some room because you're gonna want to buy something i am a sucker for colors i see something beautiful especially a bunch of colors together oh my god i have to buy it i'm not gonna wear it i don't need it but just because of colors i have to so make sure you have some room in your luggage to bring some souvenirs or something you're gonna buy something trust me and food wise yes have some money like you know to spare and make sure that you're going to you're not going to the store that is right next to you uh close to the resort area because it's going to be much more expensive go somewhere well locals shop you know and again you need a car for that <laughs> now another thing i wanted to say it's gonna sound a little random but it's not actually and hear me out the only traumatizing experience that i had there was i lost my gucci sunglasses and i was crushed like we were sitting on a beach we we were watching sunset and then it got dark and then it was raining and then it was windy so we had to run to our villa and so uh halfway there i realized that i don't have my sunglasses with me so i ran back to the beach and they were not there anymore i don't know if somebody picked them up or they were just gone with the wind but 
The point is, I lost them. That was, I, I was crying. I am not kidding. I was crying, lit literally crying. And my husband yelled at me saying that it was just a piece of plastic. And how can you be so upset about that? Like, yeah, a piece of plastic that cost just $500. But anyway, the point is, I love these sunglasses, but I lost them. I thought I would never let it go. But next day we had this beautiful all like the whole day trip scheduled and i really didn't want to go i was like no i don't need it i'm so upset uh but i did go because you know it's not only about me it was a whole family there and i paid for this trip so uh like an hour after we left the villa i already forgot my, my sunglasses like literally the whole environment is just you you just let it go faster you know and it's beautiful and I realized how ridiculous it was. Yes, I lost my sunglasses. Yes, it's upsetting situation. I, I don't like losing things, but it's no big deal, okay? They're replaceable. It's not like a, they cost million dollars. So, but then I was just enjoying and I let it go. If I lost my sunglasses here in LA, I would be crushed. But yeah, even that is easier to handle in Hawaii. This whole point was do not bring, okay, you want to bring your expensive sunglasses, do so, but if you do any water activities, if you go to the beach, uh, you're planning on swimming and all that, buy some cheap sunglasses and uh, wear those, okay? Because I ended up doing it anyway after, after I lost my expensive ones. I still had to, but um, I wish I did it before. Yeah, so just take my advice and... Believe me, you're gonna need these cheap sunglasses for sure. All right, so uh, before I make suggestions of what activities you probably want to um, schedule, let me tell you something. Please don't bring your sunscreen there. Please don't use regular sunscreen. It's very bad for the reefs, okay? So before we went there, I did not know how absolutely magical the place is. Water, the water is, it goes like dark blue to baby blue to turquoise amazing it's so nice so warm and the reefs all over the place i thought you have to go deep down to see it no it's right like 20 feet away from the shore we went snorkeling there and oh my god i thought when people showing this beautiful pictures and videos with reefs and colorful fishes and all that i thought you have to go somewhere and it's, it was like a like a exaggerated version of reality but no, this is exactly what it is all over the place there, okay? It's amazing. So, this sunscreen, the regular one, is very bad for the reef. And um, please go there and buy some reef-friendly. Make sure to always, always use reef-friendly sunscreens. I wanted to strangle these people who are using the regular one. I mean, come on, everybody knows that already. And especially the spray ones is the worst thing you can come up with. And I see all these people coming, like all these foreigners or whatever, tourists visiting the islands. And, you know, this is... If this place welcomes you, please don't shit there, okay? Don't do it. Be respectful. Don't be disrespectful, Brad. If you know you're not supposed to use regular sunscreen if it's bad and everybody's talking about that, please don't. It's not a big deal to go and buy reef-friendly sunscreen. They sell it all over the place there, so don't be an asshole. Now I would like to give you some activity suggestions. So out of our experience, the first and very important one, you have to schedule it prior to your visit because everything is going to be booked, okay? So first thing you should do is luau this is if you don't know if you've seen in the movies you know like hula dancers dancers with fires drums and all that this is luau it's like you get introduced to um the culture and the history of the islands and um it's very nice to they tell you stories they dancing along they the food and everything it's beautiful you need to do it this is number one thing to do there so number two, I would say do Hana trip. If you in Maui, do Hana trip. It's amazing. It's like the town on top of the mountain and you have to go through the rainforest and you see all this beauty, all these waterfalls and we, you stop to swim there. You stop at this little local stands to just like try the food or coconuts or like it's just great. You have to do it. Trust me, you will never regret. It's a all like whole day trip. All day trip 
and it was great you know when I lost my sunglasses that's the one that we had scheduled next day and it helped me to overcome this <laughs> terrible loss but anyway it was, <laughs> I'm just kidding it's great it was amazing do that another thing is snorkeling snorkeling you can do it every day even any beach you go to the reefs everywhere and you can do it you need your goggles and snorkel you can bring in with you or you can buy it there it's just like what $19 maybe um, but either buy it bring it with yourself but do snorkeling snorkeling is a must like you can do it every day but we also schedule like a trip to another island and there's a like, there are many snorkeling locations and it was absolutely amazing you know it's what you see around you this is your world but once you wear these goggles and the snorkel and you just look down in the water and you see completely different world and it's amazing all these reefs this um different fishes and all it's just great all these creatures it's amazing and so we did this trip i strongly recommend so they take you on a boat they take you to another like different locations they have and um it's great you have to do it if you need any points of contact please let me know i gladly i will gladly share it with you but yeah there like we went to another island and there's a crater there's molokai there's a, i think by lanai i'm not i don't remember but it was like it was a trip that you need to take it another thing we did there was jet skiing amazing it's it was so much fun i know you can do it not only there but um you know anywhere you have ocean lake or anything like any water situation but in hawaii it's different because the water even though it's still pacific ocean and i live here in la we have pacific ocean as well the beaches are different still gorgeous don't get me wrong but different okay the temperature the water temperature is different the color is different you have to do just trust me jet skiing is a must as well and one more thing that i like to mention is helicopter uh, ride it was just for 45 minutes and i must admit i was a little nauseous um but it was great because there are places that you can see only from the helicopter like you have to see it from above huge waterfalls the mountains the like it's just so beautiful i am definitely going back to be honest with you we were sitting there thinking i wonder if we can just move in here like move to hawaii to maui but i mean i know it, it's gonna be a very bold move i mean you know bold move is a good idea actually just like this trip was because we just on a whim decided to go and it was the best idea ever i think when you do something so bold everything aligns rather than when you overthink it okay and it, when it comes to anything but you know who knows but i love california i, I consider myself very very 100% Californian I love California I love LA but you know what Hawaii is great it's different lifestyle it's absolutely amazing it's relaxed it's simple the whole simple people are very attached to the land they respect it it's just people are nicer there it, it's amazing it's an amazing experience I am so grateful that I had this opportunity to go there I'm definitely going back I mean seriously when we came back we started planning another trip already but you know I don't know I've never been there in winter so my husband wants to go but people say that um, in winter it's like a whale season so yeah my husband wants to see it but anyways uh it was an amazing trip now please enjoy my video as I put all these clips together for you guys I know this video is gonna be uh, a little long but i hope you enjoy the views and everything in my experience i hope it's helpful thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy aloha
crazy hot here. Hi guys, okay, it's crazy hot here as you can tell. So we finally got our rental car and we're going to our villa. Woo -hoo! See you there. By the way, I love this rooftop. Hi. Honey. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to get Hey, welcome to trip. Hawaii. Thank you. finally here extremely hot but I'm so happy so let me show you our villa so as you see our bags here there's a little road trip aesthetic <laughs> and um, so here we have the first bedroom this is for Alina and we have well you know the situation and, and we have this pretty um, you know, bathroom. Oh, look, she got sh washers and dryers. That's amazing. So this is bedroom number one, and we have this living room area. Hi, honey. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Hello. Oh. And we have this dining room area, and we've got this freaking kitchen over here. Yes gorgeous and let me show you another bedroom one is for Alina and one is for us and da da look how beautiful the view is oh, yes. don't come in I'm changing <laughs> look at this view oh my goodness it is so pretty So we have this patio area over here. And there's a golf course on the And the golf course where my husband is gonna play. And yeah. And this is where the magic happens. By magic, I mean nothing. And, <laughs> and here we have another bathroom. So, and what else? Hi! <laughs> And um, yeah, so like I said, this living room area over here, and we've got, let's just go outside, how do put this door? Okay. And so it is absolutely beautiful. There's patio, there's my morning coffee situation. If it's not too hot, which it is extremely hot here, I gotta admit that. And this is the, you know lounging area and this is our bedroom and look at this you guys oh my goodness look at this and we've got a pool over here absolutely gorgeous hi oh god it's great look how beautiful our planet is Well, I'll catch you guys later. We have to go do grocery shopping and, um, you know, get some food and snacks and drinks. And so, yeah, amazing. This thing. There are bugs everywhere and lizards, like a very, like a neon green lizards. 
like a Geico commercial, you know, it's absolutely crazy. They're running all over the place. Hopefully not inside, but look at my hair. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. But I'm um, so happy to be here because it's my first time in Hawaii, our first time in Hawaii, and it's gorgeous. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, you guys, see what I'm talking about? These lizards. Isn't that cool? So my husband, hey husband, <laughs> my husband and I, so I finally changed and uh, now I look more Hawaiian. Um, so we decided to take a stroll down to the beach and people say it's amazing, obviously it is, our, I can tell it's so gorgeous out here. So yes, sunset beach walk. Those of you who didn't know, my husband is a golfer, <laughs> and um, obviously, hence the <laughs> view, because we're literally on a golf course. It's a golf course, golf villas, right? So it is so pretty. And how many times did I say that already? I mean, seriously, words cannot convey the whole divinity of this place. It's beautiful. I love California. I love LA. It's my home. But like, you know. Never been to Hawaii, and now we can do check. Hey, honey, you yeah. look pretty in the Hell sunset yeah. thing. <laughs> Let's go outside, you guys. Ah, the morning, my favorite, favorite time. So Alina and I, we are going to the beach. It is so pretty. <laughs> hey guys, look at this. The water is crystal clear. I literally can see my toes. <laughs> Great place on the first field, and 
You guys, this is absolutely magical. The water is crystal clear and warm. Oh my god. So we're here for luau time.
Hi! So it's been three days since we came here to Hawaii and um, my nose is so red. Yesterday we went snorkeling and uh, I got sunburned, but um, look at this view. <laughs> so t I cannot get enough of this. It's so amazing. So right now I'm going to, you know, spend time by the pool and drink my Bloody Mary and just relax. Today is Sunday, it's gonna be very crowded at the beach. So we decided to stay at the villa and um, just to use the pool. See you. Guys, I'm all sunburned, but look at the sunset. So beautiful. Hi. Hey, so we're ready to do jet skiing. Hey, honey, are you excited? Yeah. Hey, guys, jet skiing. So we finished jet skiing and now we're going to have some food and drinks, right honey? Yeah. <laughs> Aloha! So by the way, we are now on yeah. Front Street, which is so cool. And there are a bunch of stores here and a bunch of restaurants and bars. It's very nice. I love it. It reminds me of what you see on TV when they show New Orleans. <laughs> I don't know, the same vibe. I love it very much, and this is my outfit. So today we took a trip to Hana. It is the nature is unbelievable. It is so pretty. It's so beautiful. If you ever in Maui, and by the way, we stayed in Lahaina. If you ever here, this is a must. Like you have to do it. You're gonna see like this wild nature, and it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you some. stayed this local stand and they make their own chocolate oh, it's secret. um uh, uh, organic everything yeah, the and they have like i'm gonna get one of those <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh my god there we go yeah no it's good <laughs> yeah those ice cream bananas are so delicious yeah. okay you can get push a hole we want to be cooking true so uh over there in that blue bucket Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Oh my god. It's closing. It's like a Venus flytrap or something. 
Oh, quit teasing the plants. It is that. Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for the new movie. Too. Wow. So here after having my beautiful coconut, we came here to the Black Sand Beach. It's absolutely amazing. We're gonna have lunch with our group over here. This view is just magnificent. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah. And the coconut water, by the way, this fresh coconut, you cannot compare it to the one that you buy in the store. It's so different. Like, I, I tried the one from the store and I didn't like it, but this one was very refreshing and very delicious. So, if you're here, try it. And so here's where we're having our lunch. It, this trip is absolutely worth it. Every single penny. So we are here now in Black Sand And some of us are swimming, as you see. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I want to get in the water. We'll see. Inside of the cave. So, uh, after having our lunch and um, swimming a little, well, we didn't swim, but I'll the whole group did so we took pictures and now we're going to the waterfalls and look at this here we are at the waterfalls oh, i jumped off the pier <laughs> yeah that was then this is now <laughs> and that's higher than the pier no it's not sitting here thinking if I should go. The water is pretty cold. Goodness, look at my nose. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one, this one, this Maui, he, <laughs> he's thinking of going. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I chickened out, but we'll see. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I didn't jump in the water. So. Guys, you think these are rocks? These are turtles! <laughs> we came here to another beach and oh my god, we came here to see turtles. I didn't know they were gonna be so huge. I thought we we're gonna be like we're gonna see some little tiny turtles, but oh my goodness. <laughs>
guys so hel helicopter ride was amazing now we stayed at uh, star noodle place it's very famous and everybody loves it so it's our first time we got very lucky just with walk-in and um, 10 minutes later tada we have a table so yes it's pretty with a view and everything so Today we're gonna do zip lining, and this is our last, um, you know, activity that we scheduled for this vacation, vacation. Hello. And hopefully it's gonna be fun. Of course it's gonna be fun. Alright, good to go walk it off. Yeah? <laughs> 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 did, did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Don't break it. Careful, honey. No life insurance. <laughs> Have fun, babe. Look at her go. She is fearless. I love it. Look at that view, baby. talking about papa <laughs> it pretty much goes for anybody don't take it personally <laughs> what's your name jacob jacob come on now by now you're almost related now <laughs> hey you know i'm you know i'm still recording <laughs> oh look yeah it's still on oh you're still recording still <laughs> Oh my god, you recorded the Touch Me There part too? Yeah, all of it. It's on film. Yay! Oh look, you're Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> What's Lynn's Aloha? Low hands. You gotta uh, keep your hands low. A little Valerie yeah. on there. Oh. Flair! She's the blonde too. No, I know who she is, but they, they <laughs> said. Oh, like for like, for this zip lining. Hold on, maybe. Make sure you're not Lindsay Lindsay no hands. No, to keep your low, hands low. low. Hold up your hands I got low. my other side. Oh. Low, low hands. Low. Oh, gotcha. Because yeah. Miley Cyrus is, I understand what it is. Wrecking uh, ball, right? I reckon a born confused, Laura. Yes, I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I am very confused. <laughs> 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 Okay, one more for a minute. Ow! Oh, no, damn. you didn't. Damn. Hey, that was hard. Hey, back. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, I got that, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice landing. Oh, I'm up there. So graceful. Oh, nice. I can't wait for three hours and then do it because I don't expect that. That's so funny. I think I expected Where? mine. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wrong. It was so nice. Oh stop! I didn't do it hard, just like you did. I, I, I did it like this. Like this. Look, I did it like this. I did it like, I did it like this. this. And you did, I did it like this. that. I did it with a wiffle ball bat. So I'm on the run. The cops got my gun. This was so much fun, honestly, and the view is amazing too. 
what? Junior? Absolutely great experience. So, we're done with our zip lining and now we are having our lunch. About to have our lunch. So, beautiful place where our cleanos. So, yeah. guys so we came here to the beach because uh, Alina and Mike wanted to do this cliff jumping right there and um, so tomorrow we are leaving going back to California back to LA which is great I miss my dog so much I'm so excited to see him but we all I mean Maui has been amazing this is, it has been an amazing trip and um, we all a little bit not sad but kind of you know wish we could stay longer but it's okay we'll come back clearly um so yeah it has been an amazing trip and we loved it so much it's magical magical place it's a paradise so so long maui here's michael Hopefully jumping. <laughs>